Hello again and welcome back to our course on Excel for Mac 2019. In this module we're going to talk a little bit about mouse and trackpad features and what I found as a former PC user is that this is probably the hardest thing to get used to. And as I mentioned before, the thing that you'll probably notice in regards to your Mac mouse is that there is just one button for you to click as opposed to two which you would find on a PC mouse. Also, if you're using a MacBook or MacBook Air or some kind of Mac laptop, you have a trackpad. And again, that trackpad doesn't contain any particular buttons, but you use gestures in order to do certain things such as click, move around the screen, or maybe zoom in and zoom out. Now becoming familiar with these gestures is really important as it will make you work a lot more efficiently within all of your applications on your Mac. So what you can see here on the screen is I've just jumped across to the uh, Apple support page and you can see a list here of all of the trackpad gestures. So you can see that you can click just to click the mouse once. To do that right click feature you can click or tap with two fingers. You can smart zoom, you can scroll, you can zoom in or zoom out by pinching your fingers together and you can rotate and do lots of other different things with your trackpad. So it's worth having a little look through these and having a little practice so that you become familiar, particularly with the ones that you're going to utilize most often. So maybe the clicking and also the zooming in and zooming out. If I scroll down a little bit further, you'll see that we have mouse gestures. Now some of these are defined by what you have set in system preferences. So as a default, if you'd never used your Mac laptop before or your Mac mouse, when you right click on the right side of the mouse, it's not going to necessarily give you the right click menu. You can however set this up in system preferences, which I will show you in a moment. So again, have a little look through the mouse gestures and make yourself familiar with them if you are using a mouse. So let's now jump into system preferences. I'm going to go down to my dock and you'll see here that you have two options that you can go into. You have trackpad and you have mouse. So let's go into mouse. Now I currently don't have a mouse connected so I'm going to double click on trackpad. And you can see here it shows you all of those gestures and you can select which ones you want to turn on or turn off. So I can also go across to my scroll and zoom and I have all of my gestures just there and as I hover over you get a little video demonstration which is really useful so you can see how to position your hand on the trackpad and how to get that gesture to work. And finally we have our point and click options. So again if I hover over this one it's going to show me exactly what I need to do to activate that. So again go in there and set it up exactly how you want it to perform. And if you are using a mouse, I would suggest that you go into the mouse settings and do the same over there as well. So that's it on mouse and trackpad features. We will be utilizing these as we go through the course. That's the end of this section. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. And click over there to get the complete Excel for Mac 2019 beginners course. And click over there to watch the complete set of Excel Mac videos in this playlist.